Hi everybody, today I will show you how to install Incredibuild's main two components, which are an agent and coordinator component. I'll also show you how to configure and activate the coordinator by loading the license. In the following example, I have already downloaded Incredibuild onto my desktop. I simply double click on the installation file and give approval to run the installation. Incredibuild consists of two main components. The coordinator, which acts as server and controls the resource allocation. This component needs to be installed only once, and all the agents need to connect to it. The second component is the agent component, which allows to either start the build or participate as helper assisting another agent. Incredibuild accelerates build, test, and other computing task processes by allowing each machine to harness the CPU power of other machines in your network. It effectively transforms each machine into a supercomputer with hundreds of cores. So the more agents you install in the network, the better results that you can achieve. In this dialog box, you have two options, either a typical installation, which means this is not the first machine that's installed on the network, or a custom installation, where you can choose the components that will be installed. You have an agent component, which allows you to build and assist as a helper. You have the coordinator, presuming this should be the coordinator machine of your network. And you can also have an option for a backup coordinator in case the main coordinator crashes. Or you can create a single use virtual machine with a special type of installation, which I will not be discussing at this time. Since this is the first machine I will be installing on my network, I'll be installing the agent component and the coordinator component. The CPU dialog box displays the CPU configuration, which automatically is detected by Incredibuild. There's also a file cache section, which determines the file cache, but it's usually kept as is. At the bottom, you have a Visual Studio integration tick box, which is recommended to keep on in case you have any Visual Studios installed on your system. This will automatically add Incredibuild's drop-down menu into your Visual Studio IDE. This dialog shows the default port settings for the agents. The default ports are 31105 and 31106. Additional ports will open if needed. For example, if you are using a machine with eight core ports, 31107 to 3113 will be opened automatically. Since we also have chosen to install the coordinator component, this dialog box will show which port will be used in order to connect to the coordinator machine. The default port is 31104, and unless you have a special reason to change it, it is recommended to leave as is. Here, we can specify the installation folder of Incredibuild. I'm going to keep it as is. Now, you simply have to press Next for the installation to proceed. Once the installation is complete, Incredibuild allows you to automatically load the license file by choosing Browse. Simply go to where you saved your license and choose it and open. You'll also have the choice of simply double-clicking your license in order to load it. We will use the second option. Simply double-click your license file, accept, and Incredibuild will automatically load your license onto the coordinator. Now, every single machine that you connect will automatically get a single agent license applied to it. Once you've finished the installation, you can go to the tray icon of Incredibuild, right-click, choose Coordinator Monitor. In the coordinator monitor, you can see all the machines that are connected, their status, and if the license has been applied to them. In this video, I showed the ease of Incredibuild installation on a local machine with its two main components, the Incredibuild agent and coordinator.
To start using Incredibuild, please go to www.incredibuild.com. Thank you.